what's up everyone in this video i'm going to be telling you how i got into oxford from india for computer science so the first and most important thing which you need to know about getting into oxford is that none of your hobbies or extracurriculars matter so the fact that i can play the guitar or that i used to be an international level squash player none of that matters they only care about how good you are in the subject which you are applying for. So in my case, they only care about how good I was in computer science and mathematics because math is very related to computer science. So there's two main components of your application which they look for. They look at your admissions test results and your interview performance. They don't really care about your personal statement or about any of your predicted grades. They do matter to some extent, like they have to be 90, 95 plus, but most of the people have those grades. So they only care about how good you are in your admissions test results and your interview. So the first step in your application is you take the admissions test. So in my case, I took the maths admissions test. And if you do well enough on your admissions test, you get invited for an interview. The interview features two or three rounds. They're not rounds per se, they're just two or three interviews. Two of your interviews would be at your main college which you apply to, and your third interview will be at a different college. So in my case, I had two interviews at Magdalen College, and my third interview was at St. Anne's College. And in general, the college which you apply to doesn't matter because you can make an open application and then they assign you whichever college. So in my case, I made an open application and they assigned me to Magdalen College and St. Anne's College as my two colleges. And because my interviews at Magdalen College were good enough, I was given a place at my first college, which was Magdalen College. But I believe my St. Anne's interview also went really well. So make sure you do well in all of your interviews. And now I'll be breaking down the video into the two components, into how I prepared for the admission test and into how I prepared for the interviews. In order to prepare for your admission test, you have all the information given on the admissions website. So in my case, in order to prepare for the maths admissions test, I went through all of this material which was given on the website. I went through all of the videos, including the videos on, on the Oxford uh, Mathematics YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Math Prep, I believe. So if you look at any of these video links, you get linked to this channel called Oxford Mathematics Plus. And I went through most of the videos which were relevant for the math in this channel. So I went through all of the live streams 2023, 2022, 2021, and I think some of 2020 as well. I did all of the worksheets and all of the past papers. Uh, the past papers were from 2007 to 2022. Uh, so there, there are about 16 of them. I went through each and every one of them. So I took one past paper each week. I corrected them myself using these solutions and marking schemes. And I analyzed each of my mistakes. So that's the best way to uh, make sure that you are not repeating the same mistakes. And uh, even before you start practicing these tests, you need to make sure you have covered all the topics in the syllabus. So the syllabus contains everything you need to know. Don't worry, there will be absolutely nothing which is outside of the syllabus. And it should be pretty doable because the number of topics are very less. But at the same time, the questions are very difficult applications of these topics. So the best way to prepare for that is to practice as much as possible and uh, 16 papers are more than enough for sure uh, just make sure that you do them diligently and uh, you work through all of your mistakes and if you have a score of 70 to 80 you will definitely get invited for an interview and if you have a score of 80 plus you will ha you have a good chance of being offered a place so my score on the mat was 78 which was uh, which was a little bit above the average. So the average computer science student who got accepted to Oxford this year was had a score of 72, I think. You can find out um, all the statistics on this website, admission statistics. So I think for, to, for my intake, the average computer science student who got in had, had 
a score of 71 so my score was 78 so it was just above the average person but in general you should aim for uh, 80 plus if you want to have a very good chance of being offered a place uh, because your maths admissions test is the first thing they look at in your application and, and it's the most important thing um, and the best way to prepare for that is to go through all of the resources given on the website and all of the videos and uh, it took me a good four to five months to go through these so I have been preparing for, for it for a while but it's pretty manageable uh, if you practice diligently so if you do well on your test, you're invited for an interview. And this essentially determines whether or not you are offered a place at Oxford. The best way to prepare for the interview is to go through all of the sample interview problems given on the website. So there are seven of them given for computer science. And um, there's a very useful blog for computer science applicants uh, by Warren Carnady. So he's a professor at Oxford and he posted actual interview problems which were used by Oxford. They're obviously no longer used, but before they were used. So you have six additional interview questions on the website, a total of 13 questions, which is more than enough to prepare for your interview. And I was very fortunate because I had two friends who were willing to give me mock interviews. So essentially in my mock interviews, I basically uh, explained my solutions for these problems and I discussed them with my friends so we worked through them together and in case I was stuck they would look at the solution uh, so these problems have some solutions given on the website so they would look at the solution and they would give me hints and this is exactly how it will happen in an actual interview so in an actual interview if you're stuck on a particular step they would give you hints and they will see whether you can use those hints well and if you can arrive at the solution using those hints the most important thing in your interview is to communicate well and to communicate as many of your ideas as possible so the more you talk the better it is obviously that doesn't mean you should talk randomly without thinking you definitely need to think about a the problem a lot but you need to focus on communicating as much as you can to the interviewer so that they can understand your thought process and they can give you hints and help you arrive at the solution and i think an interview is very similar to what i'll be experiencing as an undergraduate when i join uh, in my tutorials because i think the tutorials also involve you working on problems you know one-on-one -on -one with with the tutor who, who is your interviewer and uh, he helps you work through these solutions so remember that the interviewer is there to help you arrive at the solution and uh, you just need to make sure that you're very clear in communicating and you explain all of your ideas and all of your thought processes and as long as you do that uh, and as long as you've practiced all of these 13 interview problems or uh, you should uh, have a very good chance of doing well in your interview and uh, the key thing is to just practice 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 do as much as much of math as possible do as much of computer science as possible read about the subject learn everything you can about about the subject because that's the only thing they care about and like that determines whether or not you get in so for me an additional thing which really helped me over the years was i would participate in programming competitions uh, on code chef uh, code forces and lead code and um, these programming competitions featured similar ideas so for example these programming competitions had something called trees and uh, trees are a data structure in computer science uh, obviously you don't need to know about uh, trees when you go into the interview they'll, gi they'll give you all the information which you need and you don't need to know about coding but uh, knowing about it and having prior experience uh, practicing those kind of uh, coding questions will definitely help you in your interview because you'll have an edge and you'll be able to uh, answer the questions faster or you'll be you'll be more fluent in in the questions which they ask you but again uh, just practice as much as possible and as long as you communicate well and you do well on your admissions test you should have a great chance of getting in so if you do well on your admissions test and on your interview you would be offered a conditional place and you just need to make sure you meet the conditional requirements so make sure you study 
uh, for your final exams. Uh, in my case, I didn't really need to worry about my final exams because my conditions were AP exams. Uh, I just needed to get fives and four APs, and I had already taken seven APs and got fives in all of them before I applied. Um, so I just mailed them my uh, test results, and uh, they confirmed my place. And uh, just make sure that you keep studying after you get your conditional place, but it's mostly done uh, if you do well on your admissions test and your interview. And that basically concludes everything you need to know about getting into Oxford. Just focus on being as uh, good in your subject as you can and uh, practice and prepare as much as possible uh, because they really just want to see how, how interested you are in the subject that you're applying for and how much or reading and how much practice you've done on that subject uh, because the tutorials and the entire uh, all of the classes which you take will be only in computer science so when I go there I'll only be studying computer science or uh, three or four years of my degree so they want to see if you're a good fit for that subject or not so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such content thank you